Hello everyone, this is Bikas from Small Academy and welcome to another Android app development tutorial with Kotlin. So today we're going to talk about navigation drawer in Kotlin. So I have already created a video on how to create and implement navigation drawer using Java as a programming language. And if you want to learn uh, using Java, then you can check the video in our, in, my, in our channel or I'll link that video in the description as well so that you can learn from there. But in this video today, we are going to talk about navigation draw using Kotlin. So this is the final application that's, that, that is what we are going to build. So it has a simple header, navigation header, menus, multiple menu and simple home page. Okay. So these simple things is what we are going to implement today. And in the coming videos, we are going to implement this navigation drawer with fragment so that uh, you know we can load different fragment when the user click on this item here so if you want to learn about that then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when we upload new video in the coming days so let's get started so i have my android studio open here i'm gonna go ahead and create new empty project and i'm gonna give the name draw menu okay and select the kotlin as a language and I'm gonna leave everything else as it is. Click on finish. Now, when the app is ready, we'll go ahead and create the required files for our navigation draw. So as I said, the navigation drawer is made up of two important parts. That is this navigation header and this navigation menu, okay, and the toolbar. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this toolbar and this uh, home page menu in the separate layout file because the activity main is going to implement the drawer layout so right now you can see it is using constant layout but what we need to do is we need to implement here drawer layout so it's going to uh, mess up the design so instead of uh, implementing toolbar and everything right here in the activity main xml file what we're going to do is we're going to create new layout file for our activity main here in the layout directory so create new layout resource file and i'm going to name it as content main and here we will add all the components that we need for our home page that is uh, we need one toolbar so i'm going to go to container drag and drop the toolbar i will fix the constraint from here okay and i'll make it at zero okay so this is our toolbar and here in the home page i'll also display one text view that is going to uh, display the text as home page just to inform the user that he is in the home page okay i will change the font size to a little bit bigger one make it as let's say 24 okay that's fine now what we're gonna do is we're going to implement the drawer layout in our activity main here and include this content main using the include uh, class okay so let's go to the code section here and instead of using this constant layout i want to make it i want to change it to draw layout and now here i will also give the id for the draw layout now here i'm going to remove this text view we don't need that instead of text view i'm going to use include property and here I can add layout and set the content main as a layout for our activity main. And if I go to design, we'll see the same thing that we have here in the content main. Okay, that is what we want. Now let's go ahead and create two more important files that we need for our uh, navigation draw. And those files are navigation header or navigation drawer header. And this header is going to have the simple background color. And I'm going to give the fix height. And I'm going to add one text view just to give some information about our application. So this section usually contains the name of our application or any other important uh, information that you would like to display to the user. Okay, I'm going to set the few properties for the text. Okay, so this is our drawer header. Now we need the navigation menu. So go to resources, right click on that, go to new layout resource file and from the values resource type, 
select the menu and now we need to give the menu so navigation nav navigation menu okay now here drag and drop the menu item that you would like to display so i'm gonna add few here and you can give the id here and if you would like to set the icon you can do that from here but i'm not going to do that do that right now so we'll add few more items okay so this is our menu we have home about contact and rating now we'll go to activity main and go to code section just after this include we're gonna add the navigation view for our navigation draw make it match parent for the both side like that and now here we can add the header layout so we have the header layout so add layout navigation header okay let me split the design so that you can see we have this drawer header now okay now we can add the menu to this uh, navigation view and we'll select the menu that we have created now you can see it is displaying this menu but currently it is uh, overlaying whole activity main so we don't want that we want this header to be at the left side so that when we whenever we click on hamburger sign it's uh, uh, displayed from the left to our activity so to do that we need to set the gravity to this layout so android layout gravity and here we'll set the start now the navigation view is hidden at the left side okay now let me close this okay so we are ready to implement this in our main activity now so let's go to our main activity and before that i want to add this kotlin extension our gradle file here so let me do that so let me copy and paste this line from here to here and add the extension okay kotlin android extension sync the project now let me close this go to here and now we have the toolbar right so first i'm gonna set the support toolbar so set support action bar here i'm gonna select the toolbar okay now we have set the new toolbar that we have in our content main so let me go ahead and run this and show you guys what happens if i run this application right now so let me close this sample application and run this project just to show you guys and for your information this application is going to crash because for the reason that i'm going to show in a second so the app is running and it is crashed and if i go here and check the error it says that the activity already has the action bar okay so the problem is we have set the new toolbar by ourselves but our theme already supply a default toolbar okay so we need to hide that so to hide that toolbar we can create the new theme so go to themes.xml i will just copy this and paste the below here and change this to no action bar okay and here i'm gonna give no action bar name okay let me copy this theme from here theme name and i'm gonna uh, up, apply that theme to our main activity from here manifest file okay so this is not the re, uh, correct one so theme the drawer menu dot no action bar is the correct one so now if i run this application we should be able to see our new toolbar here okay so you can see we have our toolbar right so let me close this themes and everything now we'll go here and set our navigation menu uh, sorry drawer menu okay so uh, in the nav menu i'll give the id as well so that we'll be able to handle the click on the menu item in the next uh, video so nav menu right 
So we're done with these files and everything. So let's go to main activity. Now here we need to create few variables. So first is toggle. Okay. So toggle will use action bar draw toggle. So this toggle is going to handle the event when we click on the hamburger sign and and everything else like when we click on hamburger sign it should display the image from the left uh, image not image menu from the left to right and everything else okay and here we also need to specify the custom toolbar drawer menu and everything so this action bar toggle is going to bind all the extra components that we have created like nav navigation menu drawer header drawer menu and the toolbar so it's going to bind everything together so that it can work together simultaneously okay so it takes few parameters the first thing is activity so we will just pass this and now we need to pass the drawer so we have drawer so this is a drawer layout and now we need to pass the toolbar so we all also have the toolbar created now it's going to take two strings okay so to create this uh, string reference let's go to strings.xml here and we will just create the open and close string so open we'll just add the open close we'll add the close okay so it should resolve that error here okay so in the drawer layout now we can add the drawer listener and this drawer listener is the toggle that we have just created okay now in the toggle we can sync the state so that it can uh, tell when the navigation drawer menu is open or closed and everything and before that i want to enable the hamburger sign as sign as well so toggle dot each drawer indicator enable and we're gonna set the true as its value okay guys so this is how we bind the all the files that we have created here menus navigation header toolbar and content so let me run this application and it should work as expected okay now we have this the hamburger sign and everything and if i click on that it's going to open it okay and you can click on that and everything else so here you can see it is coming in the da uh, black color so i want to change that so to, to change that we need to change the theme of this toolbar so let's go to a uh, content main here and click on this toolbar and we will change the theme to something else so we'll use theme overlay dot dark okay so this one theme overlay dot app compact dot dark okay let me rerun this application now we have this uh, drawer menu and everything in white and we have our menu okay so guys this is how we implement the navigation drawer in kotlin so it is really a simple application that you can try to improve your android app development skills and in the coming video we are going to implement this drawer menu with the uh, fragments so that we'll be able to open new pages here in the same activity main when we click on this about contact and everything and we'll also handle this click and everything so if you want to so if you don't want to miss this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any problem. You can uh, contact me on the Facebook so that I can help you solve your errors and everything. So for now, bye bye and I will see you in the next video.